I'm going to show you the proper way to upload an Instagram reel to Instagram so that you get the most viral potential. There's a right and there's a wrong way to do it, believe me. But if you follow our process here, you'll also be able to take that Instagram reel and then add it to YouTube Shorts, add it to TikTok, add it anywhere else you want to put it. Let's get started. I'm Owen Video. Owen Video! So the first thing that you need to do is to record your Instagram reel. Now take a look at the image that's on your screen now. There's a video there in the middle with 16.5 thousand views. That's my best performing Instagram reel of all time and all I did was put the phone up in front of me and I ranted into the camera. I just gave the camera a good 45 seconds of content that I knew that was good. I trimmed off the beginning, I trimmed off the end and then I followed this process that I'm gonna show you right now. So I've already done that today where I've already filmed an Instagram Reel. Let's take a look at it right now. It's in my phone under Photos and I'll click on this right here. Your mobile phone is an incredible tool for creating videos that change people's lives. I'm tired of people saying that you need an expensive fancy camera that really your viewers don't care about. Okay, so you get the point. We've got an Instagram reel there. Now the first thing that we want to do is we want to trim off the beginning and trim off the end. The viewer should not see you pressing start or see you pressing stop. So we're going to edit this on our mobile phone and we're just going to trim off that first few seconds here until I start talking, which is right about there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the end here. Boom, right at the end there. I'm going to click done save video okay so now i've got the perfect instagram reel length i want to go over to instagram now and upload it so now i'm on instagram and i'm going to click the plus sign right up here at the top and i'm going to click on reel this is where i can add that video so you can see me right here i'm going to click on the lower right hand side and i'm going to go through my files until i find the instagram reel i want to upload and here it is your mobile phone is an incredible tool for creating Now I'm gonna click the add button at the top. And this next step is extremely important. So click on the next button. And now what I'm gonna do is to click on the, the happy face guy here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna add the captions to the video. This is key guys. This is like what makes this video different from all the other videos out there. We're gonna click on captions and then Instagram is gonna transcribe the video and put the captions on the screen. Now, it might take a second or two to do that. And I, while it's doing that, I wanna just remind you that your Instagram Reels should really be between 30 to 45 seconds. They, they shouldn't be too much longer than that, even though you can go up to a minute. So here's what we have. The captions have now appeared on my screen. And if I click on those captions, I'm able to edit, edit the words out. I, I would recommend that you scroll through the, at least the first page, because on the first page, that's when most people are listening or reading the text, right? So you wanna make sure that there's no misspellings or any wrong words there. I'm just gonna click on done, and then I'm gonna click on done again. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this text just by dragging my fingers and kind of like, you know, snapping, pinching on the screen. And I'm gonna get that text in a good place where it can be read on the screen, okay? That's key. And then I'm gonna press download. And what that does is it downloads the video with my audio, no music, but downloads the video with my audio, with captions, that I can now take that download and put it on YouTube Shorts, put it on TikTok and add music there. You get it, but the captions are added. It's done. You've got a video with captions and you didn't need a third party software, okay? Now that we have that video in our phone and we can use it later, now we'll add the music. I'm actually gonna click the back button. And in the back button, I'm gonna tap on audio and I can go through my different audio choices. Now, I like to use instrumental music, music with no words, because then I don't have to compete with the viewer listening to the words of the song and listening to what I'm saying. And I like to use specific types of music. So I'm gonna type in inspirational. And you know, I could go through all of these different options, but I think what I'm gonna do just for the sake of this video is really just pick ones. Let's just go inspirational beat. Let's click on that. Lyrics aren't available for the song. That's perfect. I like this a lot. This is a good song. Okay, I'm gonna click done. 
All right, now what I'm gonna do is click on the next button. Notice that the captions are gone. That's okay. That's okay, you're just gonna add them again. Oh, you know what? No captions are found because the music's too loud. What we need to do is turn down the music and turn up my audio. So I'm gonna click on the music button again and I'm gonna turn the inspirational music down to like, let's just say 18. I really kind of play it by ear. You want your music to be a character in the video, but not overwhelming. And I'm gonna turn my camera audio up and click on done. Now, my captions are back on, okay? They're actually in the same place they were before, so that's a really good thing. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click next, okay? Now on this next screen, you guys are taking this way for granted, okay? This next screen actually matters a lot. So what I wanna do is click edit cover. You have a couple different options here. You could easily create a, a cool looking cover. Take a look at the image that's on your screen now. It says creative burnout. You know, I just quickly made that in an app called InShot where I put a blue layer and some text on the screen. You could easily do that, and I, I actually recommend doing that. But the big thing I want you to focus on here is making sure that the profile grid actually looks pretty valuable. So what I'm gonna do is click on cover, and what I wanna do is find some text that might get people to, so camera that really, I like that because it says camera in it. Let's, let's just kinda keep looking. How about if you have a message? If you have a message, that, I like that. I like that a lot because if somebody sees that in my profile grid, let's go to profile grid now. So even though I look kind of weird, the text will draw your eye and it may draw them to say, if you have a message. Now I know you can't really read it. Guys, this takes two seconds to just give your, your reel that extra bonus oomph that it might need to do really well. So I'm really happy with, with just this here as my cover and my profile grid. I'm gonna click done. Now I'm gonna write a caption. I see so many people skipping this step, but here's what I want you to recognize. If you have a caption that's worth reading, then they will read it. And if they're reading it, they're not Xing out of your video, which means they're watching it loop after loop after loop. So I like to write a couple paragraphs here and I never repeat what I said in the reel. Now, this particular video is about using your mobile phone, but really at essence, it's about overcoming adversity. So I'm gonna write a really killer first line for my caption and it might sound something like this. Let nothing stop you from being the person you were meant to be. Then I'm gonna click you know, dot, 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 and return. And this is where I'm gonna fill it up with some supporting text that I might just click on the microphone down here and, and get it to auto-populate for me. The, the point of this is, is not to have this perfect, well-written post, but it's to have enough copy that people will read so they don't click off your reel and you get more exposure in the newsfeed. So let's go ahead and, and fill this in with a couple paragraphs now. So many thought leaders that I know are willing to be silent because they think they need fancy tools to become the person they were meant to be, period, new paragraph. In reality, a true leader would not let a bullet comma, a boulder comma, or a bad day stop them from preaching their message and preaching it loud, period. Now, again, I'm just kind of making this up as we go, but it sounds pretty good, right? Because I say this kind of stuff all the time. Now, I'm gonna end, this is really important. I'm gonna end my video with click on my link in bio to learn more about what I do. Here's why, because I want people to know they can click the link in my bio and be led to all of my different fantastic you know, opt-ins and they can follow me. Now, many of you are using Linktree or something like it. I use a program called Drift and Drift works a lot like Linktree, but it has some really enhanced features like a profile banner and a big profile image here. You'll notice that there's room enough for a bio and I can include links to my opt-ins, my social media. I use my Drift link anywhere and I'm actually working with the company. So if you go to my Drift link, which is in the description box below, and you click on the yellow Drift With Me button, enter in my promo code OwenVideoVIP and you'll get access to some unlocked features, paid features 
you'll get them for free. But I don't know when they're gonna stop that. That's kind of a promotional thing. So that might only be for the next couple of months or so. So make sure that you just do that now and, and, and use it as your link in bio on Instagram, but also maybe even in your channel banner link on YouTube. Let's get back to Instagram Reels. So I'm gonna end my copy with, be sure to click on my link in bio. Let me do that now. Click on my link in bio to learn more about how you can dominate your industry with video. All right, that's really good. So last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a couple hashtags. And look, here's the deal with hashtags. They're not really all that helpful, you know, but you wanna add a couple in there because again, all these extra things that you can do, they're like power-ups in a video game, right? You just wanna kinda do all the things that you can do to see if all of them put together gives your video the oomph that it needs. So there, I've thrown in a few hashtags here. I don't even know if they're high performing, but if somebody reads them, they're gonna, they're gonna see that we're either aligned in our thinking or we're not in our thinking. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is finish this page here. I can tag people, I can save it as a draft, or I can share it, which means making it public now. So here's what I'm gonna recommend, is that you click share. Click the share button and get this thing public. However, I already published a reel today, so to publish another one would be total disaster. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click save draft so that the video is saved in my Instagram. You'll notice that this page pops back up. I'm just gonna click on the X here. And what you'll notice is that when I'm on my Instagram profile, I can see the draft is already there. See the new reel that we just did recently? It's got 53 views. It's totally not doing very well. But that's that's part of reels, right? Is just getting them up there and seeing how they perform. I think that the one that we just did is gonna perform extremely well, but I don't wanna publish it until tomorrow because I don't wanna post two reels on the same day. That is my system for uploading Instagram Reels that actually matter, that will utilize every portion of the Instagram algorithm to get you the lift and the reach that you need. And if you need further proof, look at Adrian's Reels right here. Thousands and thousands of views after being through my program. Look at Organics Alive and their Instagram Reels and how many views they're getting now that they're following my system. The last one I wanna show you is Ryan Mitchell Brown. He's a keto expert. Look at how well his reels following the process that I'm showing you right now. So don't skip this video, man. Don't sleep on it. Do it the way I'm showing you how to do it and you'll get thousands and thousands of views on your Instagram reels. Now, if you wanna learn more about how to get good at vertical video, Instagram reels and stuff like this, then click on the playlist that you see on your screen now. Go deeper into the topic and follow this channel. We got tons more we can't wait to share with you. I'm Owen Video and I'll see you there.